the body only appears when one is not in touch with what is present. It is not that the manifestation does not appear, but the attention falling into a particular reference point does not appear. And when the attention is relaxed equally everywhere, it is in everything. And then it shifts from my body to this appearance to divine creation, just like everything that is empty of form yet appears as form. Out of this, there is awareness of pain in the body, but there is no experience of pain in the body because there is no experience of a separate body and the whole illusion of it is tasted. Not the illusion of creation, the illusion of separation and all of the resultant suffering that is experienced when there is identification with that. Most everyone in the room, most all of the time, to varying degrees, holds on to this conditioned habit of being identified by this point of reference. Even when there is great sense of spaciousness, but when you have truly let go of every shred of memory, meaning there is absolutely nothing known because everything known lives in the habit of being distracted from yourself. Then there is no information, none. Then there is nothing that can be labeled because there is no knowing of what any label is. Then the taste is the taste of what is completely indescribable, new and fresh. There is no locating of particular things because there's no knowing of what locating is. There is living in the immediacy of what is free of the overlay this is being truly present. Holding the intention to permanently sever relationship with an imaginary past. Does that answer your question? <laughs> I think it, it did. Yes, I, you know. <laughs> I was expecting that. Yeah. You know, well, you know why I was expecting that? Because there is emptiness. When it is empty, 
there is the recognition that whatever is presenting itself is exactly what is wanted. So the discomfort I've been feeling in my body for the last few weeks um, is there to allow me to shift the relationship to this is just the expression of the beloved as it is and and that as it is, is only as it is in relationship to nothing. It, right, it is as it seems. As it seems. The body is as it seems. What relationship does the body have with the eternal now? Can you find a body in eternity? Can you find a body in the feeling of true unconditional love? There is the arising of subject-object dynamics, which appears when there is falling away from what is present, and immediately it takes shape. There is no one to control it. It is all ordained but it takes form when there is falling away from what is not local, not localized, not away from, not in time. If there is identification in the play of subject-object, it is not trying to get away from. It is true. It is receiving it for what it is. It is the grace that is setting everything right, and part of setting it right is a burning. But when the burning is received from where it comes, then it is doing a vital role. But it is always checking to see, not getting away from, but seeing if it is possible to access the simple feeling of silence, the feeling of love, the feeling of what is present, the feeling of what is not identified with any appearance. It seems like there's this continuous possibility of what you call the free will, where where the choice can be to continually surrender and humble, or to, or to have the intent or the prayer, is what I'm trying to say, yes. the prayer to continually surrender and humble. And, and along with it, it seems like it's the intent to move towards that which is unseen and seems unobvious, or to move towards that which is, seems obvious and, and objective. Yes. And it kind of seems like that's all there is. Yes. It is feeling within instead of perceiving from what is outside. All perception is external. Everything perceived is external. It is impossible to perceive internal. All perception is away from. It is away from that which is perceiving. The feeling within is the end of the relationship with subject-object, which is always away from. It is not really a movement inside. It is freeing the habit of the movement away from, remaining still, feeling what is still, feeling what is everywhere, 
feeling what is empty of the illusion of separate entities, separate objects. living in timelessness, Besides which, what is called this physical pain in the body is something that has been trapped the whole life that is moving closer to the surface out of this grace to free itself. I like that. Yes. Yeah. Yeah.